This is your daily briefing. You're most welcome to it. Three points against Wolves. What's to worry about? Um, Wolves were very easy on the eye, but they were really lacking when it got to the edge of the penalty area and getting the job done. Bruno, Bruno Large is probably going to go back to the Midlands, lamenting the fact that he's got nothing from three games. I don't think they're far off working out the combination to their particular safe. I think they played good football, they deserve more. Hugo Lloris only had three shots to deal with all game, but he was left extremely flat-footed on several occasions. The ball whistled past him, but it is what it is. Perisic, a salutary reminder. Um, do we need to dispense with the competition winner that is Ryan Sessegnon? The Croatian wins tackles, draws fouls, creates chances, and can reliably cross the ball with both feet. He robs banks, he pulls pranks. Ben Davis, four clearances distinguished him from not being really at the races at all. Doesn't offer anything. I can't see it. I don't understand him. Um, Eric Dyer, three out of his eight long passes were successful. Bit more luck with final third balls. Five from nine came good there. Um, no disasters because he had nothing really to deal with. Bravo, bravo. Davinson Sanchez, not his finest 98 minutes by any stretch. Lost the ball twice from passes out from Hugo Lloris. And that was just two from five occasions he surrendered possession in his own half. Led to four shots on the Spurs goal. His incompetence. Um, if I was playing against him, and I mean as the coach... I would instruct my players to just hit the ball towards him if they'd run out of ideas. Why not? Royal, Emerson Royal. Listen, I appreciate some of you lack perspective. It's difficult to retain that in these circumstances. But if you look at what the Brazilian cost Barcelona just before they tripled it and sell, sold him, sold him, sold him to us, you can't be angry with him. He's not bad defensively. He's not awful offensively. If you've got a beef, take it up with the guy that brought him in. Um, Spurs are lacking a key ingredient, in my opinion. Um, our Achilles heel is the uh, midfield. There's too much of a muchness. A plethora of holding midfielders. Not much in the way of creativity. Um, others took up the slack. Of course they did. Perisic created several chances. Hojbjerg and Kulusevski contributed numerous attacking third passes. But it was Hyung Son Min whose game really suffered. And Conte's dropping him back in that sort of space that's kind of between Perisic or Sessegnon and Davis. And he isn't um, transitioning. He's not being able to escape and move back to where he ought to be as effortlessly, as slickly as Harry Kane. It's not working out for him at all. There needs to be somebody else in there. And we don't have them in the squad. So it's not a question of, oh, Oliver Skipper come in and do a job. Or what about Winksy? Those guys aren't the right answer either. We're overloaded with not mediocre guys, but just holding midfielders. And Bentenkur, I said on the blog, I, I thought he was okay. You know, he was unmemorable. He was unmemorable. But then that's what you get with those types of players. It's rare they create exciting showreels. Um, so the Golden Boot winner, please release him. Let him go, Antonio. That's all I can say. Um, Hoybier made more passes than anyone else on the pitch. Only Neves made more attacking third passes. Um, and uh, the uh, Dane recovered the ball six times. And people are still talking about selling him. Oh, yeah, just sell him, just sell him. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, just sell him. Um, Sonny, we've covered. Um, Kulosevsky, another abysmal 45 minutes. Got to sort that out. And I went into, on, on my Substack channel, I went into a thing there and discovered that the first half hour to 45 minutes, Spurs are one of the slowest teams out of traps in the Premier League. It's only three games. The sample size is small. I get that. But it is the one distinct recurring theme. Conte needs to sort that out. They hear the whistle, junk. Get out there and get it done. Um, Richarlison eh, didn't do anything wrong, didn't do anything particularly right. He's getting what I would term in the nastiest way possible, but nothing personal to him as charity minutes, just getting thrown on. Go on, see if you can get anything out of it. Um, eh, he is what he is. Harry Kane, 
he's a light in a, in a in a world of darkness that's what he is that header was for me remarkable some people will deride it but it's players like him that awareness the ability to get up and get the job done out of nowhere starvation diet still serves up an absolute treat so what's the solution to the midfield thing have a look at this I've got a big, I stamped a big uh, not applicable across the middle of it because we don't have anybody um, who could step into this space within the Spurs squad. And as I said, the answer isn't Oliver Skip. But look at the names on there. Christian Eriksen, we didn't want him really, but you, you know, look what he's doing at United. I know they're where they are, but passes to the final third. It's not these guys' fault if the guys on the end of it are doing nothing with it. Um, Rodri and Carl Walk, if you saw the game against Newcastle for them, that, you know, absolutely creative masterclass. Um, Jorginho, Cancelo. Somebody of this ilk is what Spurs are missing right now. Um, but beyond that, I'm beaten in three. Happy days. Good luck. Keep it on them.